In this presentation, we look at some additional programs using LSMW. Now let's go to our LSMW program. So I'm just going to type in LSMW to access the transaction. And you can see the last project and sub project and object you use automatically appears over here. Now I'm just going to change this. I'm going to keep the project as it is. Usually for one project, you can have many different sub projects. And I'm still going to create a master data. So I'll keep that as it is 1.md. But now I'm going to change the object because I'm going to do changing a cost center master data. So I'm going to type it in over here 1.2 CC. Give it an ID like that and create a new entry by just by clicking over here. So everything else remains the same is all you can see is not in white. It's already um, predefined in blue box and object 1.2 CC. I'm going to call this as change cost center KS02 is a transaction code used to change cost center master data details. So I'm just going to type in that over here and press OK to continue. And now I'm going to execute the transaction. That will bring me up to the screen over here. Now I'll go through these steps to do the change cost center program. First step is to maintain object attributes. Now this time I'll go a bit more faster because we have already seen in the previous presentation in more detail when we saw how to create a cost center. So I'll go a little bit faster during this presentation. So it's going to double click on this. And then I need to click on this option to change from display to change. Batch input recording, we're going to do a recording. Click on this icon to see all the recording overview. One I have already created earlier for create cost center. Now I'm going to create another one for change cost center. Click on a new recording. Give it an ID KS02 underscore A. My first attempt, I'm just going to call it like that. And here I'm going to say change cost center. Press OK to continue. Transaction code to use is KS02. Now it's going to start the recording. Controlling area, I'm going to change that. ZM00. Now what the cost center I want to change, I'm just going to go and select a cost center. Controlling area, I'm just going to change that also. ZM00. Press OK to continue. Um, do I have anything that I can change? Yep, I'll choose this one, something called name test one. Looks like a dummy one, so I'm just going to use that. Press enter to continue. And they'll bring up to the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a change that in the description path after each cost center, I'm going to add the word department. So I'm just going to put like this department. That's the change I'm going to. Now in this same recording, you can do other changes also. For example, if you want to change the person responsible, if you want to change the cost in the category and so on, any amount of change you can do. But I would recommend do not change your company code and profit center because usually when you create a cost center, you will specify under one particular company code and one particular profit center. You don't go in the middle and change those details in your cost center because you only have entries related to that. And of course, you will not be doing that in a normal real life environment also. However, for description of cost center, it's a frequent change. Sometimes your cost centers might be named, a different name might come. You might have a corporate finance department. It might be changed to corporate planning department. So those kind of changes are possible. And also the person responsible also usually changes when the manager leaves a cost center. However, with just a few changes, like three or four changes, of course, please do it manually. I'm going to do a mass change. So that's why I'm just going to show you how you can do this option to change cost centers also. Just going to add the word department over here and save the transaction and I come to the screen over here then it's going to select default all you can see all the information is coming in controlling area cost center everything and the only thing i'm going to be concerned is the description that's all i'm going to use in my upload file just going to give the cost center id and the description so now i'm just going to give the information for the system, you must remember that the third option is something called a source field. So you need to give all those information. I'm just going to copy this field name over here, KOST, Control C, go to my Excel file. I'm sure you'll be familiar with what I have done earlier. When we did create cost center, we put something like this. It's going to put the same information here again. So give the field name, type is going to be character, cost center usually the length is 10, description is here, cost center. And the next thing I'm going to put, 
is we go to my sap file over here now you can give more information also for example if you want to change other